Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Kim and welcome to another edition of Buena Park Today. Many of you might have seen this in your mailboxes. It's the City News and Activity Guide. We're here to give you updates on all the latest events here in Buena Park. And today we're actually standing right in front of one of the beautiful state-of-the-art RSI homes. And here to tell us more about the project is Scott Reardon from the Economic Development Department. Also on this edition, we'll be visiting the newest California Welcome Center right here in Buena Park. We'll find out ways on how you can benefit by visiting the center and what they can offer for you. If you remember, back in the spring of 2011, the city broke ground on the newest workforce housing project to happen in the city. The RSI housing program has completed its production of nine very nice, energy-efficient homes and they are ready for buyers. Scott Reardon of the Economic Development Department and I had a chance to tour one of the homes and he gave us the following update. We're standing inside one of the RSI homes with Scott Reardon. Hi, Scott. Hi, how are you? Thank you for joining us with this um, update. Tell us, what are the latest updates? Well, um, all nine of the RSI homes that were funded with the Redevelopment Agency are just about complete, and we hope to start selling them rather soon to qualified applicants. And can you explain more about the process? Sure. Uh, the redevelopment agencies in California dedicate at least 20% of their funds towards creation of affordable housing units um, at all levels, from very low income all the way up to moderate income, which uh, goes up to 120% of the median in the county that the city is in. So these are a median income project. Uh, we've had nine homes. There's, uh, I believe, seven four-bedroom homes, and they will sell at a median income price of about 381000 And there are two three-bedroom homes that should sell at, I believe, 354000 to families that uh, do not exceed the, the limits. We just took a tour of this entire house. It's awesome. Everything's, you know, state-of-the-art, very nicely equipped. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, this is the four-bedroom model. It's a almost 2,000-square-foot home. Uh, it has one bedroom downstairs, three up, a large master bath with tool sinks, walk-in closet, uh, sunken tub. The kitchen and the bathrooms all have granite counters, beautiful wood cabinets. Uh, RSI is really on the cutting edge of developing very high quality homes at a very affordable price and they're they're gonna start doing this across the state and across the west but it's a beautiful home very well insulated all the energy efficiencies the the, the front yards and the backyards are even landscaped as well so you could move in put your furniture in and have a beautiful home for your family well you were saying that rsi were the developers for this house it's um, a great house tell us more about the rsi company yeah, RSI uh, was, is originally a company that builds cabinets, like the ones behind us, for developers all over the country. So if you go to your Home Depot or Lowe's, you may see pre-built cabinets um, by RSI. And they're an enormous company based in Southern California. Uh, the, the founder, Ron Simons, decided to found a home building company because he thought that uh, he could do it faster and cheaper because he learned all the techniques through de the design and delivery of cabinetry. So the company has, has patented and come up with some amazing ways to prefab not prefabricate, but build certain parts, home systems of the home and bring them on site and assemble them at virtually no waste. The typical construction site may waste 10 to 20 percent of materials and, and that's very expensive and costly. So they come on site, they assemble all the wall panels and the other things. Again, it's, it's a real home. It's not a prefab, but they're, they're much more engineered to perfect specifications. So the, the, for instance, the insulation is better um, and the waste is, like I said, it's non-existent. So they can bring, their they can bring in a very high quality home at a very low cost. We were looking at the backyard earlier too. Everything is already done, the landscaping. Tell us about that. Yeah, they've actually been able to, because they're able to build the homes so cost effectively, the homes are landscaped in both the front and the backyard, uh, which is very unique in the purchase of a new home. Generally speaking, the backyard is just dirt when you buy a home. So tell us about the energy efficient aspects of this house. Absolutely. These homes are very, very well insulated. All the wall systems are 
are very thick and heavily insulated. All the windows and doors are double paned and well sealed. The roofing materials, um, they, I, I believe they've, they're at the highest rating of energy efficiency for a new home. So your energy costs of owning one of these would be substantially less than buying a traditional older home. Um, also, when you close up the windows and, and so forth, you can hear no street noise. You can't hear the planes you know, from Fullerton Airport if they happen to be around. So they're very, very quiet homes inside, which is nice for, for a family, especially if you have children. So you mentioned earlier there's nine homes throughout the city. Tell us where the locations are. Yeah, the nine homes are in four different locations throughout the city. We have three here on uh, Orange Thorpe Avenue near Stanton. There, are, there is one on Mexico Way in the south part of town, as well as one on Beatrice Circle, also located in the south part of uh, Point and Park. Then there's a cluster of four of the homes built in the north part of town. That's located near Franklin and Kingman. Um, we believe that uh, by, by building these new, beautiful homes that are fully landscaped with uh, you know, the latest in, in uh, energy efficiency and so forth, it really helps to bring up the value of the neighborhoods that the homes are located. It really helps to revitalize our community, which is a goal of Redevelopment Agency as a whole. So what else is going on in the city for economic development? Well, our Redevelopment Agency is very active. Um, we, ha we are working to acquire and assemble the site just south of where we are now, uh, at Orange Thorp and Stanton, uh, where you have a lot of blighted industrial uh, facilities. The Redevelopment Agency has acquired the vast majority of those to date, and we are in discussions and negotiations with a developer to build really a beautiful 14-acre neighborhood that would consist of uh, a, few, a couple hundred of new uh, uh, housing units, both rental all the way through single family homes, as well as maybe 20 to 30,000 square feet of commercial space, retail, uh, an office, and um, also a park that would service the community. Um, so we're, that's a, a, you know, a project we're working on down the road that we hope to see start to come together in the next two to three years. And then of course, the redevelopment agency is very active on Beach Boulevard and our entertainment district. Uh, we've been working on the Beach Boulevard corridor to acquire blighted motels and demolish those and bring in new development of hopefully entertainment venues, restaurants, uh, as well as new modern hotels. Uh, and we also have a public, uh, public works project that we hope to get underway in the next year or two, really modernizing Beach Boulevard with new medians, landscaping, signage, to really dress up the area and make it look great. That's really good news for our city. Can't wait to see all those developments take place. Now, if you want to own a RSI home, check out the website at RSI Buena Park Numeral 9.com. And we're going to head on over to the Welcome Center to see what's going on there. Now we're standing in front of the California Welcome Center where visitors can stop by and check out all the activities to do here in California as well as Orange County and our city, Buena Park. Let's go inside and talk to Lois Fillmore, the manager, and find out more information about California Welcome Center. Come on in. Another new addition to the city is the California Welcome Center, which celebrated its grand opening just last August 2011. Located in the historic Stage Stop Hotel on Beach Boulevard, it's easy to visit for everyone. This is the only state-supported welcome center in Orange County and is already assisting visitors with information about what is available to them. I spoke with Lois Fillmore, manager of the Buena Park California Welcome Center, to learn more about what is going on. So, Lois, we're inside the Welcome Center. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us. Tell us about the Welcome Center. The California, we are the 20th California Welcome Center to open in Buena Park. We opened on July 22nd, 2011, this year. We had our grand opening party on the 21st. And um, as I stated, we are the 20th one to open in this state. We've been open almost three months. Very excited to be here. The California Welcome Center is uh, a tourism visitor center. We have information, maps, directions, recommendations. We ha have restrooms to use, souvenirs they can buy. Most of the visitors we have, and we have about 20% international visitors here, most of them are looking for um, 
where to go in the area, and not only in the area, but I would say 25% of them are headed up towards San Diego, with another 25% or so going towards San Francisco. So we are a great stop in between. We are in a historical building. I absolutely love our building. This building was built back in the 1800s, and it was actually used as a stage stop hotel for the Butterfield Stagecoach. And visitors who were riding the stagecoach would stop here to get a hot meal, bath, warm night, sleep, whatever it was they needed along the tour. It's been many other things in between then and now, but it's kind of gone full circle because we're back to catering to the visitors, helping the tourists, and, and helping people to be relaxed, enjoy their visit, and make the most out of their trip. So tell us more about the services that you guys provide for the visitors. We actually do concierge service um, type handling with the visitors. We do our best to answer their questions, help them chart out their trips, make hotel reservations, purchase tickets, fun activities, things to do, recommend restaurants, help to make the reservations, whatever it is that the visitor needs. And do you guys provide, let's say, discounts to any of the nearby attractions or you know, um, places to visit in OC? Yes, we do. We have actually, we have tickets from all over, not just Orange County, but many other places as well. We have one ticket that we sell quite a lot of, which is an LA Go card. And it actually is a ticket where people buy days versus things. And in that day, they have an option of 50 different places that they can visit. And they can do as many as they can cram into a day. So it is quite a, a very... Um, accepted card around and one of the favorites of the visitors. And tell us about some of the more popular attractions or activities to do here in Orange County and Buena Park. Absolutely, of course, um, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, Medieval Times, Pirates, Dinner Theater, um, Soak City, Universal Studios, Splash Mountain, quite a few activities out here. All the stars, tours, and the homes in Hollywood, everyone really enjoys that. Um, the different studio tours we have available, many people come seeking that. Most of the visitors we have, and we have about 20% international visitors here, most of them are looking for um, where to go in the area, and not only in the area, but I would say 25% of them are headed up towards San Diego, with another 25% or so going towards San Francisco. So we are a great stop in between. And how many staff members do you guys currently have working here? I currently have two part-time staff. They're absolutely wonderful, but the, we rely heaviest upon our volunteers. I have 27 volunteers that are absolutely wonderful, but I am definitely looking for more. My ultimate goal is to have at least 100 by the time our museum exhibit is open. Tell us more about the museum exhibit. Yes, it's a very exciting adventure that we're taking on now and we're working with. It is going to be the evolution of tourism and entertainment in Orange County. And we are putting together some student projects and getting the colleges involved. And that should be opened not too long after the new year. So, Lois, while we are walking down the hall, we saw a store in there. And it's filled with all kinds of goodies that I see. Tell us a little bit about the store. Absolutely. It's a wonderful place where visitors can get many things. Damaris, this is Damaris Vasquez. She is my assistant, and I'll let her tell you a little bit about the store. Hi, Damaris. Hey. So tell us about the store and what you guys have in there. We sell a lot of things that are unique to Buena Park. We have a lot of Knott's Berry Farm merchandise, which is delicious. We got jellies, jams, cookies. People love those. And we also have some things from Medieval Times, Pirate's Dinner Adventure. And some th we're trying to get items that are unique to California and also to showcase some of the uh, history of Orange County. In particular, we're going to have orange crate label merchandise, that kind of things, which are really great. A lot of people don't know about the history of Orange County, and that's going to be a great way to connect p people with that. There's like postcards on there too. Tickets. Uh -huh. tickets. Mm -hmm. We sell tickets. We do have a terminal in our gift shop, which people can print their tickets, buy tickets for discounted rate, by the way. And uh, also if they need to check their email or print um, boarding passes or directions, they're more than welcome to use that computer. And 
What has been some popular items that you guys have been selling in the store? Definitely the Knott's Berry Farm merchandise. Um, everyone loves the jams and the cookies and of course um, Snoopy merchandise that we have. People love that. <laughs> Great, thank you so much, Sean Marie. So if you guys want to stop by California Welcome Center, you could check out the website at www.visitcwc.com. Don't forget the backslash Buena Park. Great, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Buena Park today where we talked about the RSI homes. To check out their website, go on to rsibuenapark9.com and also the California Welcome Center. Be sure to stop by and pick up a couple of brochures about the state of California and Orange County and Buena Park. I'm your host, Kathy Kim. We'll see you next time. We would like to thank Scott Reardon and Lois Fillmore for talking to us about what is happening in Buena Park today. Also, before we go, there are some upcoming events we want you to know about. The 33rd Annual Mayor's Prayer Breakfast will be held on Thursday, November 17th at the Knott's Berry Farm Resort Hotel. Tickets are $10 and are available at the Ehlers Community and Recreation Center. Call 714-236-3860 for more information. The Buena Park Youth Theater will be performing their winter showing of the classic Annie. Showtimes will begin November 18th at the Buena Park High School Auditorium. Tickets are available online. Check BuenaParkFineArts.com for more details. The 41st Annual Candy Cane Land and Craft Fair is coming again to the Ehlers Community and Recreation Center this December 3rd. Get the kids together for a great time, wonderful gifts for family and friends, and of course, Santa Claus will be there. There's always something happening in the city of Buena Park. You can find it all in the Buena Park Today. You can also view the Buena Park Today on the city website at buenapark.com. Just look for the icon of the Buena Park Today and you'll find an activity that you or your children would like to do. Like us on the official City of Buena Park Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. There you'll also find a little of everything from information about city services and upcoming events to discounts offered by our entertainment venues such as Knott's Berry Farm, Pirate's Dinner Adventure, and Medieval Times. And as always, you can contact us via email at bptv3 at We look forward to hearing from you.